gentleman that uh, is always a regular here. Whenever we need him, he comes in. Sometimes we're lucky enough we don't need him, and he just stands <laughs> by. Can't resist it. He's got an ego that makes me look like a nun, uh, so I really can't hurt his feelings because he has none. Uh, but he's a very funny young man. He headlines us for our Vegas club and our Tahoe club, and for good reason because he's one heck of a funny guy. Please welcome Mr. Rich Voss, ladies and gentlemen. Rich Voss. Thank you, bud. You guys just heard he said I work Vegas. Remember that, right? Because I don't have a date there. I'm going to try to get it tonight. It's good to be back here. I haven't seen you guys since uh, last year and the year before that and the year before that and 10 years before that. So now we change, huh? How are we doing? You were here last time, right? No? Good. And I'm doing my whole act to you, okay? Because... I haven't changed a fucking thing. <laughs> I just took it easy this year. Buttercup, I missed you. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Tear her up. <laughs> that's a sweet little, that's nice. The whole zebra look, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> At what point in your fucking life did you say, I want to look like a zebra? <laughs> and how did you let her leave the house like that? <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Any Middle Easterners here? All right, let's talk about them. They are really trying to fit in in New York now, huh? Dying her hair blonde and taking baths. Everybody looks around, can we laugh? You sit on. Most of us are Jews, okay? Not being a Jew, huh? Tell them if Moses would have walked two more miles, we'd have all the oil. <laughs> a lot of Jews here. <laughs> you are definitely not a Jew. <laughs> you have a mullet. Okay. <laughs> Jews don't have mullets. Oh, that's a ponytail. It's, it's a, no ponytails on a Jew, you're right. Jews, all right. I believe in a Palestinian state. Just put it in fucking Syria. <laughs> and I brought the show to a death all huh? I did. I just got back. I was in a, a trail and just got back from Lake Tahoe. I worked there. We're about a, it's a nice place, but without the lake, it's really nothing happening. <laughs> you almost didn't let me on the plane because I have toenail clippers. Back off, everybody. <laughs> I said, what are your intentions with these? <laughs> to conquer the world. <laughs> one toe at a time. <laughs> I was also in Canada. Any Canadians here? Yeah? yeah? yeah. That place sucks. Uh, <laughs> what part of Canada? Toronto. I was in Montreal. Let me tell you, French Canadians have a shitty attitude. They're not even French. They're like watered down assholes, right? <laughs> I'm arguing with one. I'm arguing with one. He said Americans don't understand our European culture. What? You live four hours from Buffalo. <laughs> I'm better at Hitler. I don't remember in Ottawa. I wish you well on these shows. I really don't like people. I mean, not here. Everybody's nice here. Don't people really get on your nerves? Your nerves. Right? You're saying, yeah? Dumb things they say. I don't photograph well, because you're ugly. <laughs> you know who really gets on my nerves? Jared from Subway. <laughs> I really hope he gains all his weight back. I lost 300 pounds eating subs. What the fuck did he eat before that? Cars? <laughs> Buffet molester. <laughs> How you doing, sister? Checking me out, huh, man? Tell you once you go white, you go right back to black. You were a white guy, huh? Jewish guy? You're a Jew, right? You're like a Jew to the second power. Right? He's like Jew square right there. Holy shit, what's 
her name? Ira. <laughs> <laughs> Sheldon? Oh, your parents, why didn't you get your ass kicked alive, huh? <laughs> what do you do? Come on, what do you do? You work for Bloomberg? <laughs> you work for the mayor? In the mayor's office? Oh, the business. Alright, good to see you. Which, which holiday is it? None today, but can you have a nice new year? Good for you. The Catholics have some great holidays, huh? Ash Wednesday. Ow! <laughs> Mommy, the priest just burnt me. Be happy, that's all he did. <laughs> it's not rabbis don't do that. We don't eat pork. <laughs> I'm only the messenger, folks. Remember, I'm doing this for free, okay? You're lucky I don't sit here for 10 minutes like this, all right? <laughs> we're so uptight in this country. We are, we're too uptight, right, Zebra? <laughs> you watch out, you know, you're shot with a dark gun. I was never politically correct, ever. Even in elementary school, when the teacher used to say sit Indian style, I get a bottle of whiskey and lay in the curb. <laughs> The money goes to a good cause. Me. I'm so bad with money. I just spent 3500 on a Rolex. My kids can't eat, but I know what time they're hungry. I got two little girls. I love them to death. I'm divorced. Divorced with two girls. Uh, that's how pathetic my life is. I owe my 10-year-old $6 for Girl Scout cookies. And I'm dodging her. <laughs> she calls me for the money and tries to be slick and disguise her voice, but I know it's her. <laughs> she'll go, hello? Is daddy home? <laughs> my kids are the best, man. My 10-year-old, you have to see my 10-year-old. She has blonde hair, a little, she looks like an angel. This kid is beautiful. If you saw, she looks like she's just so pretty. And she is the most evil thing that walks this planet. She should have been born in a cornfield. I'm not telling you. Once she almost got me beat up in the supermarket. We're walking down the aisle. This guy comes walking towards us. He had to be like 500 pounds of muscle. He walks by us. He just looks at us. And my 10 year old says, You got eye problems? <laughs> he looks at me and says, What? Like, I didn't say it. She did. I took my kids out to eat last week, it's true. We're walking out of the restaurant, and I go to my daughters, don't you say thank you? And my 10 year old goes, for feeding us? For <laughs> kids, that's your job. <laughs> so, uh, she, so we, we're in the restaurant, this is true, I swear to God. We're in the restaurant, we're done eating. So I'm drinking coffee, right, having a cigarette, trying to relax. Right? My oldest daughter was trying to stick crayons down my shirt. She said, Jessica, stop it. You're getting on my nerves. And she kept doing it. I said, stop it or I'm going to burn you. Okay? <laughs> From the old school. All right? <laughs> so she stops. Like, just true. Like, five minutes later, out of nowhere, my little evil ten-year-old says, come on, Daddy, please. I go, what? She goes, burn her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Little Jew. Right? Jew. That's my army right there. Waldo. What do you do? You're a writer? For what? Advertising? Well, this is going fucking nowhere. I thought the show with that hope with that one, huh? All right, one more thing. When I was married, I had a stepson with the so that way I didn't have to hit my kids. Listen up, folks. You want poetry? Go to Solo, okay? I had a big fight with him once who argued. He said, you're not my father. I said, yeah, but I'm fucking your mother. <laughs> he said, who's not? I said, you're a real dad. He said, guess again. <laughs> I got 
I turn this crowd around? <laughs> Folks, you guys are going to best listen to me. If you learn anything from my show tonight, really, stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean this with all sincerity. If I offended anybody in any way, shape, or form, you have no idea how much I won't give a shit. I really want you to know. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the night. Thanks a lot. Good night.